Do not adjust your set. You're not seeing things. There is no towel there. It's Monday. It's uh, it's laundry day. The wife's doing laundry and she hasn't brought her towel back. That's her towel that usually hangs there, just so you know. I got mine on. Don't worry. Don't worry. So what are we going to do today? Well, I got a couple of surprise packages um, of soap and aftershave from two different companies. Two of, my fr two of the, my favorite companies. First of all, Heritage Hill. They sent me their new John Paul Jones shaving soap in the new size. This is the three ounce. Normally they sell a six ounce, but this is a new line of smaller sizes. So you, uh, you know, you can buy uh, more than one. You can buy two. Um, so they say, I uh, hope you and your family are well. Wanted to pass along our newest scent and their latest size offering in our collection. So this is Bay Rum, Teakwood, Cedar, Bergamot, and Patchouli. So and that's what I noticed when I first opened the box. I noticed the patchouli. Just a little hint. Not overpowering. Oh, this smells really good. There's, you know, there's certain scents that are like, oh, I like that. Like this one has that same thing for me. The cremo. There's something in there that makes me go, oh, I like that. And then the aftershave. Well, first of all, I'm just going to shave with the Black Beauty from 1970. My birth razor. I'm going to lather that hair to chill up with my Sinatra Lennon signature brush from DS Cosmetics. And then at the end, I got the Captain's Choice Land Ho! So they sent me this. I just got the Heritage Hill today. I got the Land Ho on Friday. And this one, it says, let's see, it's named Land Ho for the fresh and cheerful fragrance that is at its foundation. This offering is in the general aftershave category of a fougere scent and offers their interpretation with a fun twist. So the crisp, soothing profile has a light citrus forward with lavender in the background. So when I first got this and I smelled it, now I'm not familiar with what fougere is except for the word I've heard it a few times, but it's got to me, it does have like a grapefruity, citrus, earthy uh, tone to it with a little bit of a cologne scent. I'm not a big cologne guy. Like the only cologne I ever wear is Dracar Noir, as you guys know. <laughs> um, so I was a little worried when I got it that it might be too cologne-y for me. But here's a hint. If you want to try out an aftershave that you're not sure about, don't do it after you're done shaving. Do it like 15, 20 minutes before you're going to take a shower. That way you can put it on, you walk around, you get the scent, and then you know whether you like it or not, and then you're not stuck with it all day if you happen not to like it. So that's what I did with this, because I was a little nervous that it was too men's fragrancy for me. So what I did was, the past couple of days, I put on a little bit before I went to shave, and it's still, in the bottle, it smells more like cologne than when you put it on, and I began to like it. I was... I like the way it smells more on my face than I do in the bottle. And that's the weird thing about certain scents. They will change when you put it on your skin. So like one cologne will smell different on a different guy. So try that out. That's a little tip for you. And I do like it. I don't think I'm going to use it every day because it still does have a slight fougere. To it. Fougere is French for cologne. I, did you know that? No, it's not. It's not true. But anyway, if you know what fougere is, then you know. All right. So. Let's get to shaving, shall we? I took a shower, I did my hair. Look at that. It's gonna start poofing up again, I know. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. Ooh, I didn't shave yesterday because I didn't want to. You don't have to shave every day. You don't have to shave more than one pass if you don't want to. You can shave four passes if you wanna be crazy nuts. I don't think you need to go four passes, maybe three and a half. That's the most I ever do. So here's the Heritage Hill, the John Paul Jones. So I want to thank all my friends over at Heritage Hill and at Captain's Choice for sending me. They were really pleasant surprises. I had no idea they were going to be on the doorstep. And it was perfect timing for the soap because I just got it after I came in from my walk right before I took my shower. And Heritage Hill, I have loved every single one of the scents of their soaps except for that one. And uh, I can't remember the name of it, but I, even though I didn't like the scent of it, it wasn't for me. These things lather beautifully, always. And with this synthetic brush, I don't think you can go wrong. Add a little more water. Remember, you can always add more water. But you can't take it away. This has got a really interesting. What did a bloody nose this time? Just the wife probably bringing the towel back. But anyway, this has got a really interesting. What is it? Bay rum, which I'm not getting a ton of, 
teak wood, which I think I'm getting, and cedar. I think those are the two that I'm digging on right now. The bergamot and the patchouli. Just a little hint of patchouli. Not a lot. Okay, that's, that's, that's enough lathering. Let's get to shaving. But I really, really like the scent of that one. Great job, Josh. Thanks a lot for sending that to me. All right, the Black Beauty set on six. My birth razor made in the same month and year that I was born, that I was made. Well, not made, but born. With a feather blade inside that I think I've already had two or three shaves on. Ooh, I can feel that blade on a six. I might want to go down to a five. But it could be just because I haven't shaved since uh, Saturday morning. It's now Monday afternoon. So it could just be that my whiskers are... allowing me to feel more of what I'm considering to be the blade. But this uh, razor was sent to me also a while back. I just can't thank, I mean, the generosity that's shown to me. I certainly don't deserve it. I don't think I do. I'm just kind of making these silly videos every week just to kill some time and hopefully you enjoy them. But even if you don't continue watching my videos, you should continue shaving with a safety razor if you haven't or if you're just starting. Because it's just so nice, so easy. To me, it's the most preferable way to shave. It could be a vintage razor, it could be a modern one. And there seems to be more and more and more stuff out there available. Razors and blades and soaps and everything else. You don't know what to do, you don't know. So my suggestion is, don't be a cuckoo bird like me and have like 50 different shaving soaps. Although I'm very lucky that a lot are sent to me. Just find one that you really like and stick with that. A lot of people are saying that the Parasso Green is their go-to every day and has been for years. And just do that. It's like taking the guesswork out of it. You don't need to shave with a different scent every single day. Just go with the one you like. It's kind of like the thing when you go to your favorite restaurant, you always order the same thing. And you're like, you know, I should try something else. I always eat this chicken sandwich when I come here. And then you try something else, and you're like, gosh, I should have got the chicken sandwich. So stick with something you like and keep buying it. You don't have to have a million of them. You certainly don't. All right, first pass. It's always better on this side. There's something about, I get the angle better on that side or something. All right, more water. And more of the John Paul Jones. Mm. Yeah, I'm digging this scent. I don't know what you guys and gals do over there, Heritage Hill, but you do it right. I'm very impressed. Because this is a really interesting, this has depth. And it, may, it must be the wood. That could be it, because I'm always saying that the the cremo reminds me of like an old antique store or like the inside of a, of a vintage piano or the inside of a vintage guitar there must be something about the wood scent that i really like it's like when i go out in the backyard in the in the fall or when it's cool my back the neighbors behind us often have a fire pit going and whenever i go outside and i smell that wood smoke oh my Absolutely love it. I even love it when it's 105 degrees here, but mostly I love it in the fall. So I just think I like the smell of certain kinds of wood. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. You see, you learn a little bit about yourself all the time. That was weird. You notice I did my neck there instead of my face first? Why not? Live it up a little bit. Have some fun, kids. Make life more interesting. Speaking of that, my youngest that had a bloody nose the other day is with his grandma, so it's a little bit quieter around the house today. A little bit quieter. School's about to start. I want to thank everybody again for your uh, birthday wishes. Somebody said, I don't look a day over 60. <laughs> I was like, why you? Why I ought to pound you? Look here, see? That's my 1930s gangster voice, you see. Everybody's got to have that in their arsenal of dumb voices they do. 
when they film shaming, shaving videos, shaming videos. <laughs> I'm cutting out with the shaving videos. I'm going to do shaming videos from now on, starting with yours truly. You're not shaving right. You don't have anything to shave. Why are you shaving? Why'd you shave three times? <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, three pass. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See? Oh, sorry, I didn't do that thing. I get all the ex excess off the bottom, put it on the top. Ding! Yeah, I don't like having a lot of whiskers on my face because I just get it gets itchy. That's all. Just gets itchy. Especially on my neck. Oh boy. This stuff is so easy to lather. It's a hard soap, so it's not a cream. And I like that kind because it's easy to overdo it like the uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street. Those are really rich and creamy like you could spread it on toast, you know. I like a good hard shaving soap. You get a little bit more control, I think, when you're lathering. <sighs> it's Black Beauty, I swear. It looks like it was never used. I'm only the second owner. I apologize to the, the fine gentleman that sent it to me. I'll have to go back and remember who it was that sent it because I, my memory is terrible. Terrible. If I don't think about something every day, I forget it, you know? It even goes for things like how to play songs, you know, on the guitar. If you don't play them all the time, you forget them. Same thing with piano songs. But if Gillette was smart, sure, they make the Heritage Razor, sure. Sure, they make the King C Gillette, but they start making these adjustables, like vintage models, oh my gosh. Blow the doors off. I'm sure. You'll either tomorrow is September. Tomorrow is September. And then it'll be October and November. Oh my gosh, where has this cruddy, cruddy year gone? 2020, quite a challenging year, huh folks? But I think we're all making it through. That's what I think. That's what I know, we're all making it through. All of us that can are trying hard, man. It's all you can do, right? Hang in there. It's not easy some days, I know. Just hang in there. We're gonna get through it, okay? All right, let's see. Get these last little angles I always have to do. Always very predictable. And then I think that's good, that's good. I'm gonna get a new blade, I think I've shaved that one off. Got enough out of that one. Can't remember exactly, you know, four or five. That may be the fifth, perhaps. I transferred it over from the Rockwell to the Black Beauty. What did they actually call the Black Beauty when they came out with it? I'm not sure. All right, the Captain's Choice Land Ho. There we go. Captain's Choice makes some great stuff too. I really enjoyed their mentholated offerings this one is not mentholated so it's got it's got the fougere it's got a citrus forward with a lavender in the background but i'm not getting lavender i'm not going to use a ton of this because it is i mean it smells stronger i'm getting definitely like grapefruit citrus with an earthiness maybe that's the fougere man you know i should do some research but what fun would that be you guys got to do something on your own, right? Look up the Fougere. Look up Fougere. F-O-U-G-E-R-E. -E. That's French for Google it. Anyway, so there we go. It's a lighter scent once it's on your face. Of course, it's all strong in the bottle because it's, you know, this is a four ounce glass bottle. And then thanks to everybody. Thank y'all. Captain's Choice, Heritage Hill. You guys are very kind to send these things to me. Thank you to DS Cosmetics who sent me this, and thank you to the gentleman that sent me the Black Beauty. I, uh, I'm full of gratitude today, and I hope that you know that. 
and I hope to have the towel back by next, by this coming Friday, because I know you guys are, there's a lot of people, it's got its own Facebook page now, The Towel, it's called The Towel at Facebook.com, so uh, no, I'm just kidding, there's no such thing. <laughs> have a great week, everybody, and I will see you all soon. Bye.